Hey everybody, it's Dave. I'm in the greenhouse here. It's uh, Saturday, June 1st, I guess. Yeah, June 1st. And the garden's planted out. Everything's pretty well taken care of. I got a few odds and ends, and I wanted to show you what one of those odds and ends are. And that's my yellow squash. So in the past, I would always plant yellow squash out early in the, in the spring. Usually we try to plant out here, to start really get underway full force by Mother's Day. And uh, I would just, every year, I struggle and battle with squash bugs. And uh, several years ago, I, uh, someone told me, passed on some great advice to me. They said, don't plant your squash out until, um, until uh, you know, first or second week of June. And the reason for that is, is the squash bugs emerge from the eggs laid, laid last year in May, in early May or, or mid-May. And if there's squash plants around, then boom, they've got a new host, cycle continues. But if there's no squash plants around, then they either die off or they go somewhere else. And so the last several years, I don't plant squash out until, um, I don't know, probably be next weekend, maybe. Uh, I got a wedding to go to next weekend on Saturday, but uh, it'll probably be Sunday or even it maybe during the week this week. But I give it a few weeks. If uh, after the warm weather first first um, blossoms, uh, I give it some uh, give it some time, and that allows those squash bugs to basically to hatch, to not have food, and to die. So let me show you. Uh, and believe me, I hate a squash die. Squash bugs die. Um, let me change, let me change it around here. And you'll see, well, this is a, uh, this is actually a, um, crepe myrtle snipping that I'm rooting, but otherwise here they are. They're in the, they're in the pot still. They're in the greenhouse. Unfortunately, I'm a little worried. These are my, um, uh, zucchini and they haven't done anything, but you can see I've got the squash here. They're ready to go. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good Lord, nine squash plants would be enough to feed 10 families with squash. So they're going to go in the ground. Don't, don't rush those. If you have squash bugs in your area, oops, sorry, made a little noise pushing the tray. If you have squash bugs in your area, you've got problems. Um, don't rush putting them in the ground. The other thing is, it's not certainly not too late if you have the squash bugs to plant more and possibly to uh, just just give yourself, I don't know, if, you've, if you're having issues right now, I'd pull them up. I'd let the, I'd go without the squash, um, without the squash in the ground for at least two or three weeks. And then I'd replant it in a different area. You can see, you can, you can start seeds. These seeds were started on, I planted these on Tuesday and it's Saturday right now. And you see, see what I got. So certainly no, no, uh, issues with them not having enough time to do their thing. Um, so hope that helps. Uh, hope you're staying safe and, uh, as always stay prepared and I will see you on the next video. This is Dave. Thanks.